आओ हुजूर तुमको बताए हमारा रॉबिन हुड का पोर्टफोलियो पूरा दिन निकल गया पता भी नहीं चला मेरे को मेरा प्लान तो मस्त था कि मैं मस्त ब्लॉक करूँगा बाहर जाऊँगा ये वो बट I didn't get any time. I slept uh, whole afternoon because I've been feeling very tired. Morning में church ख़त्म किया meeting ख़त्म की Instagram एक घंटे का live session भी किया था मैंने Now I was thinking, now I was thinking I'll go out, but you can see. I mean, if you see all this yellow color, I don't know if you see it or not, but it's super yellow and smoky again, back up again. So I can't go outside. The air quality is again into 150s. So आज वापस नहीं जा सकता. तो अपन क्या करते हैं Did you figure out everybody is asking? The soda in my corn glass. Who was in the kitchen? Who ate all the pizza? ये टेबल को अपन मस्त अंदर मूव करेंगे पता नहीं ये फिट होगा कि नहीं क्योंकि साइज में बहुत बड़ा है अंदर घुसने में ही मेरे को डर लग रहा है नाउ टाइम फॉर सम पे कैसा लग रहा है हमारा सेटअप थोड़ा बाकी है पीछे का मॉनिटर स्टार्ट करते हैं इधर लाइट चालू करते हैं पेन आ गया वाइट पेपर आ गया मस्त आईफोन दो अपन अनबॉक्स करते हैं मजाक कर रहा हूँ सेटअप इज कम्प्लीट टुक मी ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स टू गेट टू दिस स्पेस होपफुली नाउ दैट कोविड इज साइलेंट साइलेंट कर देता हूँ होपफुली नाव दैट कोविड इज गेटिंग अंडर कंट्रोल आई कैन ब्रिंग द गेस्ट ओवर टू माई हाउस एंड वी कैन डू द पॉडकास्ट विच आई वॉज दैट्स वाई आई बिल्ड दिस रूम वेलकम टू वेलकम टू पैसिव इनकम पर्सनल फाइनेंस कैटेगरी वन ऑफ वन आई से दैट बिकॉज आई एम गुन एम बी टॉकिंग एंड मेकिंग लॉट मोर वीडियो ऑन पर्सनल फाइनेंस एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट एपिसोड आई वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू मोर डिटेल्स दैट्स वाई आई वॉन्ट टू ब्रेक इट अप इन टू सेवल एपिसोड बट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू गेट स्टार्टेड विद स्टॉक्स वॉट इज माई पोर्टफोलियो लुक लाइक एंड हाउ डिड आई गेट स्टार्ट बिफोर वी गेट इन टू एनी ऑफ दिस लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ट्रेडिंग लाइक वॉट इज स्टॉक ट्रेडिंग रियली मीन्स इट रियली मीन्स देर आर कंपनीज विच बेसिकली सेज दैट हे If you invest and pay me a little bit of money, I'll give you a share of my company to you, and that share is called stock, and that share can be of X, Y, Z numbers. So basically, you are saying that. So let's say if I started my business, I I made my business and put it in the market and say that it's public company. Everybody can buy share. So if I make profit, you make profit. You believe in me. You believe in me, and you said like, okay, you ji bhai pe apan pura paisa laga dete. 100 स्टॉक्स खरीदते हैं सो यू इन्वेस्टेड 100 स्टॉक्स इन माई 100 शेयर खरीद लिया लेट से वन वन शेयर इज ऑफ वन डॉलर रुपीज सो यू स्पेंड हंड्रेड डॉलर ऑन माई कंपनी यू गेट फ्रैक्शन ऑफ माई कंपनी एज एज टू कीप सो इफ नाउ माई कंपनी जो हमारा माई माई बिजनेस ना इफ दैट मेड अ प्रॉफिट इन इन मार्केट इन अ बिजनेस इफ यू गेट न्यू क्लाइंट एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस इन माई कंपनी मेड लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रॉफिट सो वॉट हैपन्स इज माई कंपनी स्टॉक प्राइस गोज अप बिकेज बिकेज इट इज बिकमिंग वैल्यूबल राइट माई कंपनीज वैल्यू इज बिकमिंग मोर एंड बेटर सो माई स्टॉक प्राइस वेंट फ्रॉम वन टू फाइव डॉलर सो ऑल ऑफ सडन द the share you was holding for my company it is become from one dollar to five dollars so now from 100 dollars investment you have become 500 dollars samajh gaya that is basically hold the stock 
trading means you invest into company and company makes profit you make the money if company loses it you lose the money as well now there's two different types of trading one is called day trading uh, jo, that is their job that is what they do and that there is long term trading day trading is not allowed if anyone is telling you you that it is allowed you should do it it's illegal you are not supposed to do it on f1 visa or h1b visa i don't recommend it it's very stressful i have not done it i always do long term investment and i highly recommend you to do long term investment so what really is day trading what is the difference between day trading and long term trading okay let's start with this my beautiful diagram let me switch the camera so you can i can explain you ओके कमेंट सेक्शन में बताना कितना चुम्बेश्वरी था ये डायग्राम ओके चलो सो दिस इज यू दिस इज एन ऐप रॉबिन हुड लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इफ यू यूज दैट ऐप यू विल गेट वन स्टॉक फ्री एंड आई विल आल्सो गेट वन स्टॉक फ्री सो दिस इज द ऐप यू यूज दिस इज द मार्केट वेर यू बाय द स्टॉक ओके दिस इज वॉट हाव इट डज यू प्लेस द ऑर्डर दिस गोज टू द मार्केट गेट्स द ऑर्डर फॉर यू ब्रिंग्स इट बैक एंड यू हैव दैट स्टॉक नाउ सेम थिंग हैपन वेन यू सेल इट इट goes to the market sells the stock for you brings it back you have the profit theek okay? hai now let's go through some real example okay you bought 5 apple share each share is worth 500 dollars so you put 2500 dollars it goes to the market available hai hai it's usually it is and then you place the order is placed you get the market and that you did it at 9 am 10 a.m. Apple announced iPhone XXX. Um, doesn't matter which iPhone it is, but they announced it. Okay, as soon as they announced it, the stock price went super high from $500 to $650, and now you're like, okay, uh, I invested at $500. Each dollar you sell it, you make the profit of $150. At 10:01, you decided I want to sell all my Apple stocks. It goes to the market, sells all the thing. You sell it for thirty to fifty because that's and uh, that one stock is six fifty, so total is thirty to fifty. You invested twenty five hundred. The total profit you made in nine to ten o one in one hour is seven fifty dollars. And that is what it is called day trading, where you in you invested into something in the morning, and within the before the day is over, you trade it to sell it out to make the profit or loss, whatever it is. That is considered as a full time job. And in your H one B visa and H one B F one visa, you cannot do this. This is illegal. Although there has been talks, and I don't know, I I don't. You should confirm it with your immigration lawyer. But I've heard that you it is four transaction is allowed. which means in a week if you invested in apple today and tomorrow the stock price went up you can sell it and you make the profit same thing you invested in tesla today 3 days later you in you made the profit you sell it so that way four different transaction is allowed per week you cannot do more than that and if you're doing it then it's illegal again confirm with your immigration lawyer if you have one i don't recommend it i do long term trading and that's what now i will explain what is that so long term trading is pretty much the same thing you buy a stock but you don't sell it you just keep it with you for a longer period of time for a year 5 months 6 months wait until the bigger things happen in the company and then you sell it after a longer period of time and you feel like okay i think uh, this is reached to the maximum potential this is a good time for it to sell for that you need to understand the market and you under you need to understand the companies and all of that but regardless the the go concept is that you invest and you don't sell it immediately you wait for some longer period of time in my long term investment strategy i always invest in ceos rather than the company as a whole because i believe that ceo is the one who's going to make the changes and bring the company to a different level so if you really believe in the ceo you need to invest in those companies uh, but if you don't feel if you believe in the company but don't believe in the ceos then it might be a little sketchy so like elon musk i believe in him and that's why i invested in tesla even though the people were saying that not investing in Tes tesla but i luckily i did invest it and that's a good thing i did invest it okay now let me take the same example all right so the guy is there this is there you know remember i said ceo market is there he buys the five stocks just like this guy right he buys it in august 2020 it is 500 dollars per stock 2500 dollars of investment after 2 years august 2022 apple stock is now 2500 per stock so five stock is equal to 12500 he invested 
2500 and now the profit is $10,000. So the difference is that it took two years to make $10,000 or you can take one hour to earn $750. This is not allowed, this is allowed and this is much better and less stressful strategy. All right, uh, there, are two, there, are, there are two different types of uh, stocks uh, or two different categories. One is called penny stocks and another one is called blue chip. What is the difference between both of them? Penny stocks, as the name suggests, it's penny. Uh, the definition says, uh, you can read. Definition says, a common valued stock under one dollar. So technically, a stock which is priced under dollar, it's a penny stock. Nowadays, people are like, you know, generalizing it a little bit more. Even though it is one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, anything under five dollars is considered now penny stock. So that is called penny stock. Blue chip is basically a stock which is nationally reputed multinational company and it has a you know it's more stable and it's been there for a for a longer period of time and all of that they are very expensive uh, for example amazon google tesla and there are many other companies but those are the companies which are very well known which has been there in the market for a very long time it's globally known and that those are called blue chip uh, should you invest in penny stock or blue chip my my personal experience is that i've always invested in blue chip ice I did invest some in penny stock, but with the penny stock, so here's the difference, okay. I invest in blue chip, I don't invest in penny stock, and here's my problem with it. So one stock, one dollar, okay? Uh, we're taking a price of one dollar. You have, let's say you invested thousand dollars, you have thousand dollars, you invested thousand stocks and you bought it. Now it's a thousand dollar value. If price increases by 50 cents, so let's say it increased by one dollar 50 cent, uh, total becomes 1500, you make the profit of 500 dollars. Great. Now if the price decreases by 50 cents, uh, let's say that, and then total becomes 500 dollars and you lost 500 dollars problem with penny stocks is they are cheap but you have to make a bigger profit you have to invest a bigger volume with bigger volume comes with a bigger risk so that's why i don't really like it blue chip is more reliable even though the value is high even if you buy even if you buy one stock uh, let's talk about blue chip so you invested in tesla tesla is very well known one stock was $200 and you bought it and you waited for a few months and now the stock price is $2,000. Not saying that in every case this will happen, but with this, you, you I mean, the profit you made is $1,800 even by you just bought one stock. With one stock, even if the price goes a little bit lower, uh, you can set the limit order and you can save yourself by making the loss by only 10%, uh, $10 or $20, whatever your money, whatever your appetite is for losing the money. Se in, the, in the separate video, I'll explain you what is limit order, placing the order and selling the order and all of this in the separate video. So you got it, what is the difference? Uh, I mean, let's take example of Microsoft. Uh, a year ago, Microsoft was $90 or so, now it's $200. Uh, Apple was $150, $170, now it's $500. So, uh, so buying those for and keeping it for a longer time is valuable and you will make way much more money. It's way much more safer and less volatile my recommendation is to always go for blue chip uh, stocks if you can afford it if you cannot afford it and if you use robin hood which uh, link in the description if you buy uh, if you install that app it has called something called fractional share option what does that mean let's say you don't have 200 dollars to invest in tesla or whatever stock you want to buy but you have 50 dollars you can invest 50 dollars in tesla and get 0.25 dollars 0.25 share of tesla so if the tesla share became two thousand dollars you would still make the money on that whatever that 25 percent of the money you invested that 25 percent money of two thousand dollars in this case it'll be four hundred dollars so you still will make three hundred and fifty dollars on that so that's called fractional share buying and that option is available on robin hood so i would highly recommend you to install robin hood and and, and, and start get, get started. In this video, I'm not going to talk about how to use Robinhood to buy your stocks or trade
trade the stocks in the separate video i'll be talking about how to buy stock and how to sell it and uh, different types of options available in robin hood please let me know in the comment section if you white if you would like to know this is just the basics to help you understand and get started Aao huzur tumko bataye hamara Robin Hood ka portfolio. Chalo, chalo karte. There's a rule in investment. They say that you should only invest into stock market if think of that money is gone from your bank account. Matlab, if you're investing fifty dollars, five hundred dollars, five thousand dollars, always think that that five thousand dollar is gone from your account. Make sense? All right. This is what the app looks like. This is all the time frame. So you can click onto any time frame. Here they go. Uh, and then you can scroll. You can see it was 44,000 one month ago. And just now it's 51,000. Same thing you can click on three months ago. Three months ago it was 39 you can also click on one year you can see it was 25 26 000 and now it's almost 52 000. that means that after i show you my portfolio that itself is a proof that you should invest in blue chip because one year ago my portfolio was only this much and now it's that much the reason i like robin hood is because of the how flexible it is you can see this is the news panel where they give you like different types of news which you can read it if you are interested in it uh, but upon uh, interested coming to my stocks i got netflix twitter facebook salesforce microsoft apple gopro paypal square etsy alibaba amazon this is my biggest thing i bought is amazon my first few years i was just focused on buying amazon when i bought amazon it was 1800 dollars and now you can see the total return is i made eight thousand dollars on just five shares of amazon obviously right now the price is three four zero two it's double the price and i have five of them that's why i made almost eight thousand dollars on amazon those are the stocks obviously there's a lot more bigger list than what i showed you let's see uh let's we can do this if we can make thousand like to this video and 500 comments then i will share all the stocks which i've invested so far and give you guys the list and also will share the list of stocks which i think i will be investing in in it and you should maybe start looking at those if you noticed about my portfolio it's mainly filled with uh, tech industry i heavily believe in tech industry and you know i work in tech industry that's why i invest in tech industry i have invested in some other retail industry some in healthcare i've always also invested in mutual funds and riit reit which is real estate investment funds I will talk about those in a separate video because this I wanted to just kind of get you started with it and then we'll talk more about it. Also remember one thing that uh, stock trading is very addictive. Uh, it's a quick money a lot of people call it quick money and that's why it's very risky as well and it can become very dangerous when you start becoming greedy. So do, that's why long term investment comes into the place where you just invest into the company you believe in. Forget about it after keep checking the price obviously something drastic is happening and then obviously you pull out your money but majority of time just invest in it and let it go i have been investing since 20 2015 it's five years from you know since five years i've been investing and then i have made this portfolio so strong that moving forward it's going to work for me before i end this video i want to give you a very important tip how did i get started and how can you get started let's talk about that when i was working on campus going back to 2015 when i started working my first paycheck i decided that every paycheck matlab every week a 50 dollars that was my goal every week i am still there i i have a recurring deposit of 50 dollars from my bank account to robin hood now i'm not investing into stock necessarily what i'm doing is just taking 50 dollars from my bank account to putting into robin hood account when you put it it just it just keeps a cash so here's here's what here's how i got started let's say you were making 800 dollars per month i used to save 50 dollars per week i used to invest 
slash put it in the robin hood i mean not necessarily i would buy a stock i would just put it in the robin hood it will still get deposited uh let's say two so that becomes 200 dollars a minute because this is four weeks and then that becomes 2400 dollars a year and after five years it's twelve thousand uh, dollars in five years this twelve thousand is no matter i invested or didn't invest it that money is there and obviously i'm just rounding up the numbers if you think about it i would still earn some of the interest and i would make money on that but let's say i didn't make anything you still have twelve thousand dollars invested which is a very good amount you can use it to do whatever you want but of course i invested in the companies and that gave me a return and slowly 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 it grew to whatever level it is right now so that is how i got started and that is how you should get started as well whatever amount you decide you doesn't have to be fifty dollars it can be twenty five dollars also it can be hundred dollars a month hope you enjoyed this video sorry it wasn't a vlog hope it was helpful if it is helpful please comment and let me know uh, more mutual funds rit sab ke bare mein bhi batana hai to apan milte rahenge kal ke video mein apan kuch aur baat karenge until our next one keep smiling and keep hustling thara hustle every single day